Hey guys, okay, so this is going to be part two of my Papa is Watching video, which I just recorded. I just didn't want the webcam to cut off at like five or six minutes, so I cut it short. Um, so now I'm going to tell you one of the most scariest paranormal experiences that I experienced in this house. My worst paranormal experience is the, uh, yeah, the most craziest, scariest experience will be coming later on in my series. But right now I just wanted to share with you my scariest paranormal experience uh, that happened up to this date. So I was about maybe 14 years old and this is when I really started to notice that I had psychic abilities or you know I could I have that sixth sense and I could hear and feel and see spirits. So this is around that time where I started noticing that I had that. Um, so I was 14 and it was around February, the beginning of February, and I was by myself like I am right now, and I'm getting freaked out just like I did that day. And the TV, we had a TV, and it used to be sitting on the desk that the computer sits on right now, but it used to be on... <sighs> Sorry about that. So, pretty much to explain to you, um, the TV used to be on a desk, sitting on a desk right Oh, sorry, right here on this wall in this corner, okay? And like I said, the bed used to be facing that way. It used to be on this wall right here. So I was sitting on, on the bed watching TV, okay? And also, the door was closed. And this is at the time when I didn't have Daisy. I had my other dog, Nick, which she's no longer living now. Um, so I was sitting on the bed. Daisy! Okay, that's creepy. She's like looking at the door and barking. Okay. I'm just going to ignore that one. Hmm. So, okay, I was sitting on the bed watching TV and I had this bedroom door closed and I was by myself. And, you know, I've lived in this house for so long that I could hear when someone's coming in the door. I know the sound of people coming home from the grocery store or from work or whatever. So I thought I heard someone come in the door and the front door with groceries, go into the kitchen, set them down and start ruffling through uh, grocery bags like they had just come back from the store. My mom and grandma at the time were at the store, but okay, they were at the store when I was by myself and I was hearing this stuff. So I didn't really think of anything of it at the time. You know, I was just waiting for someone to come in my room, let me know that they're back. And I waited a few minutes and no one did. So I opened this door. I opened this bedroom door right here. And when you go, okay, let me show you again, I'm sorry. So that's connecting to the living room and the hallway. When, yeah, down, this way is the hallway, okay? So I opened the door and I just stood there. I didn't really go out of the door. I just stood there in the doorway and I kind of listened. I was waiting for my mom or my grandma to walk by the front door. And so I said, Mom, Grandma, and no one answered me. So I shut the door and I thought that was really weird. So I went back to watching my TV and I heard it again. And so I muted the TV and I just sat there and I listened and I kid you not, I know this sounds so crazy, but I heard a man's voice go <coughs> like that in the living room. So I got freaked out and I, I thought to myself like, okay, that was a little deep to be my mom's voice or my grandma's voice. So I opened the door again and I didn't say anything, I just stood there. And I just felt like a presence or something, and I got really freaked out, and I shut the door. And then, this is the freakiest part. Keep in mind, the TV's muted, and there's nobody in the house. I put my ear up to the doorway, like in the crack of the, of the wall in the door. I put my ear up to the door, and I have carpet in this house. So what I heard was crazy. I put my ear, my ear up to the door. 
and I heard someone shuffling on the carpet, walking back and forth down the hallway three times. So, you know the sound of the carpet when you're walking on it and you're kind of dragging your feet, kind of sounds like that. Like, I don't know if you can hear that. But I heard that and I freaked the fuck out. I seriously freaked out. And I don't know why I did this, but I got under the desk that the TV was sitting on and I called my friend up and I told her what was going on and as I'm doing this my mom walks in the front door and opens the bedroom door to let me know that she's home like I thought she was going to do originally and I screamed and I told her what happened and she was the only one that believed me. My, my grandma tried to um, debunk it saying oh maybe it was the bird making noise because I have a bird uh, maybe it was the air vent, blah, 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 blah. But my mom believed me, and I know what I heard. I, no one was in the house at the time, except for me and my, and my dog. And the weird part about that was my dog didn't even, I don't know, he didn't bark, but he kind of looked like he was looking at something. I don't know, it was really weird, and this freaked me out for days. And this is when I started noticing a lot more activity going on in the house. So, anyways, that's my part two of um, my Papa is watching video. I'm getting really freaked out right now, so I think I'm going to stop for today. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for tomorrow will be my pregnancy update video. And um, if you guys have a similar experience, then let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.